the Holy Spirit, an introduction. Hi, I'm Nicole Kringle. I'm the co-pastor at Cape Assembly of God Church in Orland, California. And you can email me at capeassemblyofgod at gmail.com if you want to get in touch. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Holy Spirit. Today, we'll chat about who he is, why he's important, and what he brings to our lives. Let's go. So who is Holy Spirit? Well, first and foremost, he is God. He is an equally important part of the Trinity. That is Father, Son, and of course, Holy Spirit. He is also our teacher and advocate. As explained in John 14, 16, he teaches us all things, including the nature of God. And he is a gift to be received. Like salvation through Jesus, we have the option to receive all of the Lord. And he is eagerly awaiting for us to open that gift. Next up, why is he so important? Are you ready? He renews, rebirths, and transforms us. It is only by his work within us that we are able to shake off that old man, put on the new, and be transformed. He's a really big deal. So, let's look at rebirth, renewal, and transformation just a little bit closer. Titus 3, 5, and 6 um, talks about he saved us, Holy Spirit saves us through the washing of rebirth and renewal that comes through Jesus. Also in 2 Corinthians 3.18, it talks about that we are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory. And where does that glory come from? You guessed it, it comes from Holy Spirit. So don't miss this point. Our communion and submission to the Holy Spirit is the vehicle for transformation in our life. And it demonstrates the power of the gospel. It's huge. Also, here's a few other reasons that he is critical to our life. Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. I mean... He helps us to pray when we don't know how to pray. He intercedes for us. Holy Spirit provides God's wisdom. He gives us understanding and counsel that we would not otherwise have. And he seals us. Oof, the word seals here in the Greek is spragizo, um, which is probably not said right. But it implies the seal not only serves as a protection, or a preservation, but also as a way to authenticate our sonship in Christ. It's pretty cool. Next up, what does what he brings to our life? What's what does Holy Spirit bring to our lives? Well, I think A.W. Tozer really killed it. Uh, life is not special or deluxe edition of Christianity. It is part and parcel for the total plan of God for his people. You see, the interesting thing here is that our lives were created to be lived in communion in community and communion with Holy Spirit. So, after all, Holy Spirit is our source for empowerment. To walk as Christ, to build up the church and to reach hurting people without hope. He's the power. Holy Spirit also provides gifts. And these gifts help us to be equipped for service. Things like discernment, prophecy, healing, mercy, and even administration are just a few of the gifts the Holy Spirit gives. But check out Romans 12, 6, and, uh, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 12, 
8 through 10, 1 Corinthians 12, 28 through 30, and Ephesians 4, 11 for even more gifts if you want to dig into that. Lastly, Holy Spirit changes how we live, which makes sense because he's transforming us into the likeness of Christ. But it's only through his work in our lives that we harvest love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in our lives. So now what? Now you might be asking, you have all this good information, but what do I do with it? Much like salvation, asking Holy Spirit to be in your life is literally just that, a prayer and faith. 